You know what's wild? Boeing built the 767 for the 1980s and somehow created the perfect wide body for the 2020s. The 767 didn't just work, it became one of the most accidentally perfect long-haul jets ever made. Airlines wanted giant jets. Boeing quietly built something smarter. A mid-sized twin built around economics, not ego. Fuel prices climbed. Long-haul routes thinned. Cargo demand exploded. Suddenly the 767 wasn't old. It was perfect. Back then flying oceans on two engines shocked people. The 767 proved it worked reliably, consistently, safely. It didn't just use ETOPS, it legitimized ETOPS. The 767-300ER became a silent assassin. Perfect range, perfect size, perfect economics. It outperformed bigger jets on countless long-haul routes. Then came the 767F, UPS, FedEx, DHL, Amazon, all built around it. It's so vital Boeing still builds it today. And the KC-46, a 1980s airliner turned into a modern military tanker. So did Boeing accidentally create the perfect wide body? Should they build a 767X? Does the A330 really replace it? Or just compete with it? And here's the big one. Did the 767 age better than the 787?